Hey guys, it's Chill here with the Minecraft Survival Challenge. In today's challenge, I'm going to be trying to make it to another without dying with rocket power jumps. To prove my point, here's a clip from one of the attempts where I jumped to the moon. Sadly, I cannot show you much of that attempt because the fucking recording became corrupted. Anyways, now with the capability of these jumps in mind, we begin setting this challenge up. If you want to attempt this challenge at home, you simply need to place the command block in creative mode. You will then put this command in on a repeating and always active block. The final touch is to surround the block with bedrock to stop yourself from tampering with the block somehow. After this quick setup, we can get on with the challenge. As you can tell, this isn't my first rodeo, so I get right down to business and cut down the nearest tree. Sorry, Mr. Beast. This tree's death will not be in vain, however, as I turn his flesh into some planks. These planks are then used to make us a crafting table, which will be useful to survive. I quickly make some sleds, which will be used to get around without jumping straight into the stratosphere, which will most likely result in our untimely demise. After quickly killing the family the first tree, I make some more slabs so that I don't have to worry about getting around. The only possible way I can die now if I'm stupid enough to make that happen. There is a good reason I'm only going to nether and not be in the game, however, so that is possible. After killing an instant sheep, instead of using shears like an idiot, I make my way over to the cave I started right next to. This can be an excellent place to hide out during the night and collect stone, coal, and even iron. Speaking of the devil, I notice iron before I even see coal. Quickly, I gather some stone to make a better pickaxe, but gather coal first so I have something to cook the iron with. After gathering part of the coal vein, I move on to the iron, which gives me enough for two buckets. Perfect. Hardly something to brag about, however, because the sound of the monsters in the cave with me is scaring the jumpy fellow that I am. I decided to block off the area the sound is coming from because the best way to deal with your problems, kids, is to ignore them and cover them up. Life advice. After making the place a bit cozy, I collect the iron from the furnace to make a bucket. It isn't all done, however, so while I wait, I finish off the rest of the coal vein in my cave. After sitting around for a moment, the iron finished, and I make two buckets. I also cook the sheep from earlier to validate killing it, and I pick up the camp to make my way over to the lava pit I noticed earlier. Pro tip, if you're trying this challenge at home while setting up the command block, you can check out the area around your spawn point. I got really lucky with this scene, there's a lava pit quite close to the spawn. I'll leave the seed for the spawn along with how long it took me in the description if you want to try and do better than me. If you attempt this at home, comment how long it took you, I'd love to see how y'all did. Pro tip number two, if you don't have diamond tools to pick up the obsidian by itself, you can use buckets of water and lava to make a portal. Being a complete idiot, I cover my lava pool with water, which isn't a big deal, but it's definitely a pain in the back and it slows me down. Realizing if I stick around any longer, I'm going to be assaulted by a monster to my way back to the cave. I have a few close encounters with some spiders, but I make it back safely and block off the entrance. I decided to spend the rest of the night mining because as soon as it's daylight outside, I'm going to get this challenge over with. It mostly was uneventful and I broke a few pickaxes. I kept checking if it was daylight because I was itching to get back outside. Near the end of the night, I found a small cave. First, I debated even going inside, but decided that perhaps I could get some more iron. So I made my way inside and lit the area up. This is pretty uneventful, but I found some iron and made a pickaxe and a sword. I was just stalling for the big moment. So I made my way back to the top to smelt the iron, I noticed it was day. Finally! I cooked my iron and while I was waiting, my life flashed before my very eyes. As I was making my way out of the cave, I instinctively jumped. If it wasn't for that one grass block that held back a suicidal rocket ship, this challenge would have been over. Luckily, that grass is stronger than the gym teacher's grandma and saved me and my sanity. I make my way back to another portal to finish it and get this challenge over with. Of course, this is relatively difficult since I can't jump without becoming a satellite, so I make a shoddy staircase. After fucking around for a bit, I finally have a completed portal, but I never made a flint and steel. Luckily, there was some by the lake, so I made my way over there, and if the Minecraft guys were not smiling upon me enough already, the first piece of gravel I break gives me flint. Of course, I decided to light a cow on fire, because every good Minecraft video needs some family-friendly fun sacrifice to sustain themselves. I noticed some more cows, and noticed this one also has a baby. Perfect, there's also an appetizer. Obviously, they run into the portal that I just slipped because they'd rather go to hell themselves than having dropkick and marry myself. I make my way after them, ending this challenge once and for all. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to leave a like and let's try to get 10 likes. 
Also, if you want to see more content like this, maybe subscribe. It takes some motivation for me to upload. If you decide to play along for me, leave a comment telling me how you did. And even if you didn't, maybe leave a comment saying howdy. If you don't, that's fine. I'll just drop kick your first born child. Anyway, see you guys in the next video and have a fantastic day. Bye.